The atmosphere is always electric. I think it's a game full of emotions. Just make sure you don't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> no words. <laughs> that time of the year, Merseyside Derby. What's the first thing that comes into your head when you think of the Derby coming up? I think it's probably the most important game of the year. I would say, you know, of course, there are finals, you can get to the Cups. But when comes the future, beginning of the season, you always look for the, for the Derby day and we know how much it means for the fans. The emotion I get is, is excitement for the Derby, you know, the, the atmosphere is always electric. I think it's a game full of emotions, so in the end it makes it more special when you, when you win it. It's probably different for you, Lucas. You've been here that long. You're a proper adopted scouser, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> every year, every derby, I feel more emotion, more passion. You know, I remember when I first came, the day of the derby, how Stevie and Cara used to be. You know, they were, they were just different that day. You know, they were so electric and Kara couldn't stay quiet. As soon as the game from the previous week was over, the attention was turned, come on. Lucas, we'll go back to your debut at Goodison. The pressure involved. Not only the pressure of coming on to Merseyside Derby when the game is really tight, but replacing Stevie Gerrard. To be honest, uh, in that moment, I, I didn't think much about who I was replacing. I was so excited to play the Premier League for the first time and in Adabi that uh, I didn't realize how much pressure I had on that moment. You know, that probably helped me. But I look back <laughs> and it was a, a, a risky decision, I would say, by Rafa because, yeah. you know, you know, he always was a big player in the derbies and but at the end I, I, I managed to help. Here, lads, I don't know if you've seen this. Did he have long hair? There was a there was a headband as well. There was a hairband there as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's my league debut. Uh, oh, you would have scored. You know, you debut. Debut. Yeah, yeah, uh, Premier League debut. You could have scored the winner there. You'd have become an instant hero. Do you think it would have changed how your Liverpool career has panned out? Uh, yes, I think so. I think that save uh, just uh, told me how difficult my journey would be. You know, <laughs> but. I can't complain, no. There's an Evertonian amongst us. Come on then, explain that one. Well, g growing up, my dad was a big Everton fan. I think uh, maybe the, the Lineker days, and they were, doing, they were doing quite well, but my memories of being a fan was fighting relegation all the time, so there was a lot of tears in the house. There's a lot of, a lot of Liverpool players, a lot of great Liverpool, Power, Power's one, isn't Liverpool players. I think Rushy, I think Rushy was an Everton, Everton fan. There's, there's loads. Adam, the last derby, 4-0. What was it like in the Lalana household? Was your dad wouldn't have been too pleased with that result? I don't think. Um, it wasn't wasn't too dramatic. He was he was just delighted that that we got a great result. Um, obviously, where the big man scored a great goal yeah. that, that night. Yeah, well, have a wee look at that, Devot. What did you think? He leaped about ten foot and in the air. Yeah, it was just a special moment because I think before the game you could feel it was it was a big moment for us in the season. Yeah. And. Uh, you can see it was intensive and everybody wanted to win, both sides. For me, it was my first. So I was so happy that year and, and uh, that moment. And to be able to score in a, in a, in a derby, um, knowing the history of, of this game, for me, was, was very, very special, yeah. It was nearly a wonder goal in that game. and It drew a little bit of a chuckle from the manager. I think it might have been... <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I, I had to laugh myself when I was up there. Uh, I was sat in the stands. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got no words. <laughs> what was going through your mind uh, as you strolled forward? Uh, for Neil, you know, beautiful <laughs> play, and you know, <laughs> I just thought I'll have a go, and why not? It's coming up again. Obviously, it's at Goodison. What sort of game do you see coming up? I don't think really form goes into it in, in derby games. I'm sure it'll be as, as feisty as ever and uh, irrelevant of how well we're playing or well they are or not playing. I think it's still going to be going to be yeah. a battle. There is no favourites in derbies. It's just it's a different game from the others. You know, it's always who wants more and 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 of course normally is always decided is more detailed. Everybody's just 
plays with, with, with his heart and is just meant to, uh, willing to win. So you give it all and yeah, the tempo is very high because everybody is chasing and everybody wants to make that first goal and, and, and have an advantage and, and then eventually win the game. So um, I think it's important to, to start well. The fans create a different atmosphere of Derby Day. It's, it's something you can't really describe and, and, it, and it just gets you going that, that little bit more. And that's why, you know, being at home, you maybe do get a little bit of an edge if you've got more fans there, but it's also why it makes it probably more sweet when you go away for a moment and you get the result. It's a special pleasure.